Hey, what's going on guys? Lethal Flex here, and today I'm bringing you a deck profile of a deck that I do not have on my channel yet. This is a uh, undefeated Sylvan deck, which um, at my local is my buddy Daniel House. You guys know him, he did a box opening on my channel as well. Um, he has built, so definitely not a budget deck, but um, let's go through the deck and see how it runs. Alright, so first we got the new guy, the uh, the giant tree, <laughs> Sage Koya. Sage Koya. Uh, I'm playing three Sage Koya. Okay. Uh, you have to play three. Okay. When you excavate something, you get to special summon it. Nice. Now, nice. a lot of people don't know that if you tribute like Lone Fire yep. to special another plant from your deck, you can't activate his effect. Why is that? Because it, it has something to do with the timing. Oh, so a timing chain? Okay. Yes. Okay. So you can only get it if you excavate something. Okay. Or if you synchro with it. Um, I'll get into that later. <laughs> um, then next we have three Marshall Leaf. Arguably one of the best cards. Yes. Um, a lot of people are only playing two. I am playing three. Um, yeah. It clogs a little bit, but <laughs> with the new card, Sylvan Charity, you can stack it back onto your deck so it's not... And then good. mill it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I, heard, I saw somebody playing one. Is that stupid or...? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's stupid because yeah. everybody has their own preference. Makes the deck look better too. Yeah. <laughs> Next card. And we have three... Peacekeeper. Oh, you went out of your way to get the Ultras, too. I did. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Oh, yeah, definitely. This deck um, is nice. This card is Monster Reborn on Crack. <laughs> for, lone f for, yeah, for plants, you can get you can get Lone Fire back. Oh, nice. It's like Soul Charge, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Three little peas in a pod. Yeah. Nice. What's the next card? Next, we've got... The old boss monster. Oh, the Hermitries. The Hermitries. Just now, two of this one? I'm playing two. I didn't really like three before. It was okay because he didn't have Sage Koya. Yeah, but Sage Koya came out, so. Yeah. So, in order to fit three Sage Koya, I dropped this down to two. Nice. That, that works perfectly. Remove one tree, put in another. Exactly. <laughs> Next, we've got... Komashrumu. Is this the one that... What is, this what does this guy do? This is the guy who pops back row. Oh, so you got your Marsh Leaf, which pop monsters, and your... Is Marsh Leaf any monster? Uh, yes, it's, it's any monster. Doesn't have to be face up? That is correct. Okay, sweet. And this pops any spell or trap. Nice. When um, it's excavated, right? Yes, when it's excavated. They all get their, they all get extra effects when they're excavated. Cool. Um, and you got 2,000 defense. Yeah. So nice. if you don't have a play, um, you could just set this and pass turn. If yeah. they attack into it, you can excavate five cards, Whew. which is amazing for this deck. <laughs> this deck has problems with excavating. Yeah. Um, and I have a couple tech cards in here at the end, so we'll yep. get into that later. I'm sure we'll see those. Next, we have the two Cherub Sprout. Yay! Oh, you got the supers. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, this guy gets you a level one plant from your deck. Sweet. Yep. No, no more explanation. <laughs> <laughs> then we have copy plan. Two copy okay, this is something I want to address. So you were telling me earlier, no, um, what is that other, the, the princess thing? Princess sprout. Princess sprout, and you choose this over princess yes. sprout. Why is that? I chose this over princess sprout because, like print, like princess sprout, she can, she can special summon herself off of being excavated. Yeah. And. She can change levels from one to eight. Okay. But the thing is, like, she's not a tuner. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Copy plan is a tuner, so you can make almost any um, synchro. Yeah. That's yeah. even level in the game. And it's a good reason to, um, you know, yeah. play play copy plan. So, and then like, you can normal summon copy plan. Yeah. If you have a monster, you can copy yeah. its level. Yeah. But if you have princess part, you can't do that. Yeah, that's Granted, true. like you can when she's normal summon, you can tribute her to stack her back onto your deck. Yeah. But this deck has problems excavating, so that was yeah. really inconsistent for me. Yeah. So I changed back to copy plan. Yeah. It also opens up a lot of opportunities with it being a tuner. You know, you have more tuning oppor opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just make. Lots of Felgram plays <laughs> for days. Or any. Felgram plays for days. Felgram plays for days. <laughs> Next, we have the two Lone Fire. Of course. If only we were at three. Yeah. I'm sorry they're not super. <laughs> um, That's okay, man. This one's rare. I Hopefully, hopefully I'll be getting them soon. <laughs> uh, and then we'll do an updated deck profile. Yeah. Um, With big rarities. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have my favorite engine in the game, the plant engine. Yes. One dandy, one debris, one spore. Of course. Yep. It's a plant deck. It's got to have those. Yep. 
Then we have one of my favorite techs. Oh, the Tempest, Tempest. man. The Tempest. So, I was looking at your deck. You play 10 wins and you play 6 fires. So, explain why no Blaster. Well, the reason I'm not playing Blaster is because I would only get about three uses out of it maybe okay maybe okay but with tempest i can i can ditch um let's say spore yeah and get a debris dragon and then have another play like if i have another plant in the grave already okay. i can just go debris dragon get the lone fire yeah. and like make black rose nice and then i still have this for next turn that's with, a sweet tech yeah i like with, it and and it's already live because black rose is a dragon oh okay so with just oh, with okay. these that makes sense so i can yeah that makes sense. I gotcha. <laughs> um, then we have onto the spells. Sweet. Let's do we the spells. We have three of the field spell. Nice. Um, this is one of my favorite field spells in the game. Mount Sylvania. What does the, it do? It is the deck's main way of getting his plays off. So okay. you can send a plant monster from your hand or side of the field to stack a. Um, a Sylvan card on your deck. Nice. Now okay. notice how I said card. Oh, card. And not yeah, that's right. Monster. Because <laughs> the next card should. Expand. So you can stack this next card. Yes. Oh yeah. Three Sylvan Charity. The Sylvan Graceful Charity. This card is so good. Explain this card, please. This card. Well, it's exactly like Graceful Charity, except you don't discard. You send them. You Which is so stack stupid. them to your deck instead. <laughs> so that's so good. The reason. The Marshall Leaf, I play three. I used to not play three because it was a little cloggy. Yeah. And I would draw it too often, but this card makes it okay. Yeah. Sylvan so, Charity. Yeah. So you draw three cards, and then if you have two Marshall Leafs, you can stack them back onto the deck and then excavate. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. You can only use one of them per turn. And if Sage Koi is sent to the graveyard and this is in there, I mean, if it's excavated, you can get this back. Nice. That's unfair. I like it. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got. Three Miracle Fertilizer. Oh yeah, dude. This card is nuts. Uh, I don't, this, this card's busted. <laughs> it is. Um, it is really good. You can... Uh, you stack a... Stack a Peacekeeper. If you have a uh, Sage Koya on the field, you can go... Uh, Sage Koya. Get... Excavate the Peas. Smash Summon Copy Plant. Overlay for Draco Sack. Uh, and then this stays on the field. Yeah. Uh, exactly, dude. It's good. And you can use it again next turn. <laughs> it's continuous. That's so, so good. That's really good. Um, and then we have the second reborning card. Oh, yeah. Duh. Soul Charge. Soul Charge. Oh, God. Um, Pretty sure everybody knows what Soul yeah, Charge does. Yeah, I don't even have to explain it. Okay. Are, you, are you expecting a hit on the ban list? No. No? It'll stay at three? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they made charity. Why? Why not keep soul That's charge at three? That's like, true. <laughs> well, graceful charity's banned because it's like crazy good. <laughs> Make another one. <laughs> All right. Now on for the tech cards I was talking about earlier. I'm playing two archfiend. Ooh, what does this do? Okay. Uh, once per turn, you can pay 500 life points to excavate. Uh, declare one card name and excavate the top card of your deck. If it's that card, if it's the declared card, add it to your hand. If okay. not, send it to the graveyard. So this, this works really well with Mount Sylvania and um, Sylvan Charity. Yes. So you can just get your Sylvan Charity right away. Yes. That's nuts. Yeah. That's it's, really good. It's really, really good. Um, this card has helped me out um, to excavate my my deck. Like, this deck has issues excavating, like yeah. I said earlier. And if you don't want to draw the card, you can just, you know, exactly. something else and then, and then mill it. Yeah. That's really good. That's a really good tech. I like that. That's good. And then we have one MST. Okay. Um, I don't feel MST is good in this format. It's not. Um, if you're scared of fires. I guess. Or Bujins, yeah, maybe. maybe. But, you know, artifacts is going to yeah. be a majority so you of what you're playing. Like, I'm, I am not a fan of blind space anyway. <laughs> if, you, if you blind space, you should lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, next on the traps, I'm only playing three traps. Okay. Okay. Um... First, we're playing a compulse. Okay. Self explanatory. Compulse. Just a compulse. Uh, morning. It's all the morning. morning. Yep, it's all morning. And then my last trap is breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill. This is a card that's getting really hot lately, actually. Yes. It's actually a really good card. I want to bump this up to more than one. Yeah. Um, Lethal Flux here suggested it, and I was like, oh, that's a pretty good card. <laughs> yeah, it's good a really idea. good card this format. Um, so if you're playing Evil Swarms and they have Ophion on the field. Yep. Yeah. You can, if you can, st you can find a way to stack this on your deck. If you, if you end phase like, um, with Mount Sylvania, 
you excavate end phase and you see it's a breakthrough skill, you don't really want to draw a breakthrough skill, right? Yeah. Good. So you put it back on top. Wait, no. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, how did this go? It works out. No, no, no. Okay. You send it with the Archfiend's Oath. Yeah. So like if you know that it's a breakthrough skill, you can send it with the Archfiend's Oath. And then you can banish it to negate the Ophion. Yeah. And then... Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 For sure. I, I knew my thought process was okay, but like I just... <laughs> uh, my brain's I'm tired. Too much Yu-Gi-Oh today. Too much, <laughs> too much going undefeated. Um, <laughs> extra deck. Extra deck time. So how much is uh, how many cards is this? This is deck? a forty card deck. Nice, perfect. I want to find a way to fit more traps in there, but I don't. I don't know if you should play traps. In some <laughs> extra um, deck. Extra deck. We've got a two felt brand. Of course, too easy to make. Yeah. Um, even though I'm only playing two hundred tree, this card's really easy to get out first turn. Uh, a lot of decks have difficulty getting over Felgrand, let alone yeah. double Felgrand. You could, could you copy plant and then make another one? If you copy plant like a hermit tree? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. See, th th there you go. And you yeah. play two copy plant. <laughs> it's good. Two Felgrand. Then we have the last rank eight that I play is I'll say. What does this guy do? Um, it's really complicated. Um, I'm actually. <laughs> did you go into it at all today? No, I did not. <laughs> I, I'm actually thinking about dropping this card. Um, so it's probably, it's decent, but like I have it, I have it in here. Like I don't even know what it does. Like that's that's how, oh, that like one. it's just I don't know. It's there because it's there. It has 32 defense. It's pretty big. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, Archfiend's Oath. So the first effect is. Well, no. Yeah, like a you little declare bit. and then. And if it's the card you declared, you can yeah. bounce something. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> if, I, if I need it, I'll, I'll read it. <laughs> okay. Um, next for the rank sevens, we have Aurea. Aurea, dude, the best card in the deck. I'm assuming the this, extra deck. This man. card is broken. Yeah. <laughs> this card is so. Oh my goodness! Don't even get me started on this card. <laughs> so what you do is, um, you can send a plant type monster from your hand or. Face up on your side of the field, yeah, to the graveyard, and then you can look at that many cards on, uh, from your top, from the top of your deck. Okay, and then rearrange them in any order. That doesn't, that doesn't um, cost a material. Wow. Oh, so it just happens. Yes. Once per turn. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, and then you can detach one to excavate uh, the top. One through three cards of your deck. So and you've already stacked them. Yes. Oh my gosh, them. that's stupid. And then you send any plant type monsters to the graveyard, and then you put non plant type monsters on the bottom of the deck in any order. And it's 2800. But here's and 2500 defense. For every plant type monster sent to the graveyard this way, you can bounce cards to the hand equal to the number. Oh my gosh. And you're stacking your deck, so you're going to be sending a few. So so let's say they have. Four back row and two monsters. So you go, you stack two martial leaves, you excavate the two martial leaves, and like another plant type monster. Pop two, bounce a million. Bou yeah, pop two, <laughs> bounce. Like, it's it's so good. It's a good card. Um, only one of those. Me a lot of games. Yes. Nice. I'm only playing one. Um, I feel like you don't need two. Yeah. It Maybe. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's 2800, so it fends for itself. But I only use this. I only make this when I'm going for a game. For sure. Um, next. We've got a big guy. Of course. Self-explanatory. Rank 7. Uh, Drink of Zach. Rank 7. Self-explanatory as well. And then we have some Rank Engineer. Mech Grab Engineer. Nice. Um, I don't even know. Like, copy Plant and a level 3 make this. If you have Felgrain on the field. Marshall Leaf, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? What did I say? Copy Plant at level 3. <laughs> yeah. I was, just, I was just declaring yeah. a level 3 okay. that you could use. Um, yeah. Fell Grand Engineer. It's pretty strong. Next card. Uh, Alrighty. Are you guys trading? Leo. Nope. Get out of here. Oh, got Leo. Uh, Leo. Uh, the same fairly easy to make. Lots of uh, level manipulation. This with, card's really good in Mermaid. With the too. spore and yeah. This is a really hot card actually. So It's very good. And it's only like a dollar. So. <laughs> then we've got for the level 8s, we've got Crimson Blader. Yeah. Card's good. Um, yeah. Mirror Match is really hard to win. Then we got Stardust. Yep. I don't like Spark. This card saves more cards than Spark. <laughs> and it comes back. Yep. Then we've got for the level sevens, Black Rose. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, of course.
course, it's a dragon, it's level 7, it blows up everything, it's easy to make. <laughs> now, this is a personal choice. Queen of Thorns. What is that? Uh, it basically says no to anything that special summons from the hand. So, your opponent has to pay 1,000 life points for every card, every monster they want to normal summon or special summon from their hand. Oh my god. So, this card makes the Evil Swarm matchup easier. Um, if you're going first. Yeah, for sure. Um, Stellar's... My favorite is Cyber Dragons. Yeah. I made a guy pay 4,000 life points. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Next card. And he walked into a mirror force. It was great. Nice. Um, and then we've got an Arm 80s. Yep, Arm 80s. It's good. Conspusions and everything. And we've got Armory Arm. Armory Arm. Also good. Easy to make, I'm assuming. Armory Arm fell grand. Yep. Makes people cry. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Formula. Yeah. Why form this thing, Um, Just easy to make. Easy to make. Um, Draw one. It's a tuner. It is. <laughs> it's good. Alrighty. That was uh, Daniel House's deck profile, you guys. Uh, make sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I really appreciate you showing me your Sylvan deck. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.